what's up my people today's report uh guys i don't know why is it always like this prophets they would come out say you know they have 2020 or 2022 2023 prophecies and it's always negative negative um prophecies why is it like that you know there's just this thing this relationship between prophets and bad prophecies why i don't know some people are setting up a big cold drum in Anambra State. And if this cold drum catches fire and begin to cook all these herbs that they are mixing in it, Anambra will boil. And this cold drum, the content is poisonous. Very, very poisonous. So if you are in Anambra State or you're from Anambra State, pray against it. A big cold drum. It Please. Nigerians from now till February uh, election time next year, please. The Lord revealed to me that if you people don't remove political emotion, there will be a lot of bloodshed. Wait, guys, like this video and subscribe. Let's continue. Yesterday, we talked about Hanks Anuku. Here is another actress here man nancy uh she actually called out shan george here and again guys she's been in the news of late for the wrong reasons you know and now this she got bashed for that not just by fans but by her colleagues as well younger colleagues um here EMA says i have been trying to keep calm and mind my business since yesterday but my conscience uh wouldn't let me this disturbing video of legendary um uncle hanks and no cool surfaced on internet which is true uh which is 100 percent um is reality okay sean george uh, came out to the bunk it instead of letting him get the help he needs at last you know i'm just thinking right now like what why would san sean george do that because that's doing more harm than good to him why would san just come out and say he's fine when she knows that he's not fine if truly san san george knows that this guy is not you know mentally okay and she still went ahead to post that video i, I personally have a problem with uh, you know san george that means you don't even have to post the video at all you know instead of lie to the people <laughs> yeah that's hangs and nuko yeah, just well, the handsome well, Hanks and Nuko, uh, the superstar. And this is my sweet baby in the movie, baby. Well, you gotta watch out for that. Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're you know doing, we're doing magic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here we have um, Bonner Boy and Thames. Congratulations to Bonner Boy and Thames. Bonner Boy um, actually react to his Grammy nomination with this. You can see uh, emojis. Um, well. <laughs> I just want to say, you know, I'm personally, I, I was actually surprised. Like, Bonner Boy again? Hey, if this guy can't win this award again, chai. Um, the category Best uh, Global Music Performance, Last Last Bonner Boy. The other one, Best Global Music Album. What is wrong with this lady, Angelique Joe? You release an album again? The album was nominated again. Terms actually got nominated. You know, she collaborated with Future in a song, Wait For You. Think about it, right? I mean, two Grammy nominations, right? Um, also, working with Whiskey Essence, big deal. <laughs> Not even one of her songs, like her own personal song, was able to get there. But collaborations, wow, she's so lucky. And there are people that she's, you know, she met in the industry. Now, like, she's doing so, so well than them performing everywhere congratulations to her yeah, the category best melodic rap performance um wait for you um future featuring drake and thames um best rap song wait for you also there um yeah congratulations to these guys once again and uh, speaking about uh songs and collaborations here we have blackface blackface calls out um Bonner boy and whiskey for sampling his song <laughs> on ginger you know by a whiskey and Bona boy i know what you're thinking right now that blackface what is your problem this time uh, tomorrow is two face today is another person <laughs> i don't know
here we have Yabuju's daughter. Yabuju's daughter called out a troll. Um, you can see their comments here. Uh, the person commented saying, "You're looking ugly." And in the comment section, but this person is a, is a, a child, though. Is I think the guy should be below eighteen or something. And she says, uh, "The person says, hey, good morning to my amiable superstar in DMs, right?" And outside, uh. <laughs> he actually called her ugly you know i think sometimes you know people just want attention especially truths when they know that when they um um call you out or when they blast you or say negative things to you you will react so i guess that's what the guy did it's quite obvious though speaking about truths you know here's another troll that said actress Lota Chuku is getting old she posted a picture and this person typed Kiki you are getting older and she replied you know these are some of the things that sometimes I feel like people should just ignore especially celebrities you don't have to react to all these things and she started typing because that got to her she said uh, you people are so used to filters that's the only explanation why someone uh, would repeatedly camp under my tweets to try to clown me by saying repeatedly all you have to do is block these people um i'm getting old because i have wrinkles i'm 30 plus i have laugh i have laugh lines i don't see the problem i look like uh, that after getting barely 15 hours sleep who are you explaining to you don't need all this i'm being on my feet with zero hours of sleep for 24. see <laughs> i don't know moving on to the next one here we have ex-wife um, of messi aibe's husband who said karma will definitely come karma comes after everyone eventually she's really hurting me like it shows that she's going through you know a lot because she's been talking and you know posting stuff on social media i hope that she defeats you know that feeling because this shows that she's she's down according to her herself and messia ebay were cool before she snatched her husband you know messi aibe uh, posted a picture in her you know ex-husband's house and she said you know they put it together so she reacted to that said a lot of things and you know here she says um uh with screen people you can't get away with screen people over your whole life and also, I think it's also a message to the husband, to ex-husband too. Said, what goes around comes around. That's how it works. Sooner or later, the universe will serve you the revenge that you deserve. Revenge is not in my plans. You will F yourself on your own. Okay, might be the husband. Who knows? Guys, the next one is about President Trump. President Trump uh, announces he's running uh, for president in 2024. It's going to be an interesting year, that 2024. Imagine Trump running again after losing and after all the negative words out there. I would really want to see. In fact, if he's going to lose, right, I would like to see how many people vote for Trump again. Because I'm sure, you know, a lot of people went to him and said, look, you have to run again. People want to, you know, you have to try this again. Guys, uh, let us move uh, straight to the next one. Here we have um, um, a lady that sent uh, this um, audio to me uh, reacting to um, the video I posted few, I think few weeks ago about how hard it is to live um, in UK. You know, I, I think I reacted to other people's videos. So they saw it and they um, they sent me this message. We're going to listen to the voice, but let us let me quickly read what the what they said. Hello, um, I just need to let you know that UK is not easy for the people staying there. I've been in this country for 22 years and I just got my love to remain in 2016. Go through um, hell with my kids and as a single mother, it was not okay. Everything is expensive and people coming from Nigeria think it's easy. My border, make the plan well and have enough before coming to England. People people they vex for here like mad water bill um council tax road tax gas bill sewage bill as ve very soon till will be elect tax whatever that means if you drop any paper on the floor ma 70 
pounds. Wow, my brother, advice your people. I come in peace. Let us listen to this person, what they've got to say about living in UK. Hmm. It's about to get interesting. I listen to your voice something every day. I just want to tell you, yeah? I've been in this country since 98. I come up past 2015. I'm a single mother. I raised my children alone. Girls are crazy here. Even they tell you to come for a job. If you don't have a place or you don't have a family here, forget about it. Hmm. It's hard here. You pay tax, council tax, sewage, phone bill, everything, internet. You pay through your nose. Soon, you start paying leg tax. That's wow. how bad it is. You understand? I know your Nigeria is raw food. Bet it with me. I pray for Nigeria every day. But thank God I came here as early age as well. Even when I got here early age, I couldn't even get the papers yet. I had to wait. I had to stay. I had to work. I had to do a lot of stupid things. People that God has put in a good, that has a good heart that will help you. People that, that you've known for a long time, they won't help you. They will discard you. So I, I listen to your something every day because I know you said the truth a lot of time. Oh, thank you. I, I try, you know, but I'm human. But I try. Thank you so much. Guys, let me know what you think about that. I mean, those of you that stay in the UK, please uh, enlighten us more. I, th I don't think we, uh, we can get enough of this. But, you know, the stories I've been hearing about the people that stay in the UK, it's just not encouraging. You understand what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Moving on to the next one, here we have Anita Joseph talking about, you know, uh, her husband, you know, uh, trying to um, coach young ladies on how to keep a man or something, or, you know, keep a good marriage. Guys, look, like I always say, whatever works for you is what you should stick with. As long as it's not abuse, it's not violence, it's not, you know, any of those, um, just see how you can work things out with your partner that's what i say do not take my advice don't take anybody's advice there we're just creating content and saying stuff and all, of course they also are saying what works for them like every other person right so just do with team go work for you in marriage or relationship or anything moving on to the next one here we have zlatan zlatan was asked about his net worth like how much how much you want that's, that's that time. he feels so uncomfortable with that question and the i feel like the the interviewer should know when to stop but let's watch so according to a certain site online you are worth four million dollars is that true or false or is it more because you'll be like person will be saying uh uh not fake it till you make it yeah, there's a rap line that says, fake it till you make it. When you make it, act like you don't have it. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> so, yeah. I don't is know. Is it true? Is I don't it worth $1 million dollars or is it more? Uh, well, if, how much is $1 million right now? Then? $1 million is about seven, six, six hundred and something million naira. Yo, I don't know. I don't know how much I want to. I just... No, it's not possible. <laughs> but my brother, it's not possible. I blew. If you say you don't know how many songs you have in your catalogs, nah, that's understandable. Blew. But this money we're talking $4 about. $4 million. Dollar. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, $4 million is about 6 times 4, 24. That's you get where you want me to donate money, put. I know they find make you donate money, yeah, oh my so brother. No, no, no. It's not, no. Yeah, now, hard work you work yeah, now. I need the money for where you did yeah, now, so is it four or is it more? Why you want to die? My yeah. brother, I know I ask you all those things. The answer this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to is like. Is it more? Or is my it was. Is it more than four yeah. million or is it less? That's what uh, I need. I don't need a figure. Well, I don't like you. On the, Why did you run? You're putting me in the middle, bro. Oh, I don't. I don't want to disclose that. I don't you want. You're smiling like a little bit more. Oh, I can't. I don't get one, you. You see? I look up to God. <laughs> <laughs> That's what rich people say. Oh my God. Okay. For those of you that drink Azu, what is your experience? There's a there's one that they call the black azul, the one with the black bottle. Said it's very expensive, thousands of dollars. 
Let us read what this person has got to say, their own experience about our zoo. Um, Omo, on a zoo, I go order black azul shorts. Just short, too. I didn't even order it. Um, they were displaying it at a fancy restaurant in Dubai, and I just told the guy to give me and my girl two shorts. Omo, when they bought the bill, two shorts was $2,000. Huh? Omo, I week for table. Always try to confirm price before you order anything. <laughs> I use a no confirm price of something like that. Before you even drink something, safe, you need to confirm price, even though you won't show for your girlfriend, say yes, I'm doing okay. It doesn't hurt. Because some the girlfriend will understand. Go no say you need to ask. <laughs> Except the girl no like you. Yes, let us watch this video. You see this here? That is the Azul Black. I had no idea there were different grades of Azul because that is preposterous to even think of. So the one we all know is the entry level as well. That up there is the second in command. And this in the center is the group leader. You see them bringing this out in the club. Just go home, because the night is done. The server is not going to pay attention to you anymore. Anyone buying this has a PhD in illegal funds. They're not even a drug dealer anymore. They're not a scammer. They don't do the emo phishing, the refund method. They're not even a crypto boy. The crypto might have been in the past a long time ago. At this point in time, they are a money launderer. Anyone buying this certified, I can swear that they are laundering money. All right, guys, moving on to the next one. Here is um, Striker of Beast of No Nations. I don't know if you guys have watched the Beast of No Nation, the movie, um, but this guy Striker was there. He didn't see anything, but um, his role was you know amazing. He played it so well. And this guy is on the streets now. His counterpart, uh Abraham Atta, is I think he's in New York that is doing well. So how much did he pay them for that movie, Beast of No Nation? I mean, look at what this guy is doing now in such a big movie that was nominated for numerous awards, big big awards in America, everywhere in the world. It's uh let's watch this. Who remember this guy in Beast of No Nation Striker. movie Striker? Beast of no Nation, yeah, Striker this. Yeah. In the Nibramata, then they shoot Beast of No Nation. Right, your man the Yankee, your man today, yeah. So Charlie, all them boys with them gay Bramata in contact, make it can't help him, boy, Charlie. We all this, yeah, Striker, Charlie, it will be. It will be. Politics here, I don't know if you guys have seen this video, watch the video. Mr. Tinumbu mistakenly prays for PDP at the flag off of his presidential rally in Joss. My people, she not old age will go call this thing a been a waiting. I don't understand. Let's go ahead. God bless Nigeria. God bless Nigeria. God bless BD. APC. APC. God bless APC. Soludo and Peter will be their loggerheads. You know, Peter will be is handling it well. But Soludo, I don't really know. Maybe there's a personal beef before you got into that position. You know, the person you met there, Obiano, you didn't really say, you said something about him, but Peter Obi shouldn't even be in your, your speeches or whatever you've got to say because you met someone, there was someone after Peter Obi before you came in. I don't know, but. Ah, let's watch this video. Let's begin what's trending. The governor of Anambra State, Charles Chukuma Soludo, has again stirred up another social media controversy after stating that the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, will not win the 2023 presidential election. Soludo made the comment on Monday in an article titled, History Beckons and I Will Not Be Silent, Part 1. Well, last week, Soludo was criticized by a cross-section of Nigerians after stating during a live television interview that investments made by Peter Obi in Anambra State are worth next to nothing. While reacting to the criticism in his article, Soludo affirmed that Peter Obi is well aware of the game he's playing and that the game is the main reason he didn't return to APGA, adding that there are two persons or parties seriously contesting for office of the president of Nigeria and that the rest is exciting drama. Uh, they said Nigeria's inflation um, hits 21, over 21%. 21 that is very, very high. They said this is the highest in 17 years. 
21% is too high. Too high. I remember back then when it was 11%. Right, they were people were complaining from nine percent to jump to eleven percent. People were complaining. I was going on now twenty one percent. Big, 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 guys. The next one right here we've got is about Dino Malai. Dino Malai is logger, logger heads with Vemi Fanica or the FFK. This is politics. I've said it before. You see a lot of these things. Ah, it is drama. Our politicians. It is now that you know that our politicians are great actors. Guys, let us watch this video. Many people accept that politics go along with making temporary enemies because of differences of interest by different parties. However, you know, many felt that you should have taken a litigation against uh, Femi Fani Kayode for insinuating that you indulge in sodomy. Quite a number of people are beginning to read meanings to it in terms of your remaining silence about the expensive word that was used. What's your anyway, I want to start. I want to start by telling you that I'm a Christian, and by the grace of God, I am one of those who supported bill against the same-sex marriage and even all those kind of satanic things. But I have serious sympathy for Fanika Yode and serious pity for him because, as a drug addict who actually went to a rehab, eventually impregnated the daughter of the man who is supposed to be taking care of him in the rehabilitation. I believe he has mental problem developed from drug taking and i cannot take anything he's saying very seriously a man who is married more than four or five times who beat his wife at will who provocative tendencies is inestimable i cannot take anything he's saying seriously because i know whatever he's saying is as a product of cheap drugs that is taken so i will not waste my time reacting to him i have been a special assistant to the president of this country I've been chairman of the Presidential Advisory Council. I've been a member of the House of Representatives. I have been a senator twice, voted twice as a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I cannot bring myself so low to the level of a man who has never contested even for councillorship. And as low as councillorship, Femi Fanekayo has not contested. I cannot begin to argue or take a fight with a man whose belly is his God. Somebody who has commercialized his conscience, who has conquered shame. Who live, who live on moving from one person to another. I am not going to reduce myself to that level. Okay, guys, that's where I'm going to hold it. Thank you so much for watching. Until we see you next time, peace.